Song of Solomon, Chapter 6 The daughters of Jerusalem speak. Whither is thy beloved gone? O thou, fairest among women. That's the world looking at the bride. Where's your beloved? Where'd he go? And you're not like us. The world knows it's wicked. The world knows it's not clean. That's why they don't want the Christian in the Bible around. Jesus said, because, because I have pronounced sin upon them, I have revealed who they are by the light that I am. That's why the world hates me. See, the world don't want you around because you do things better and cleaner than they do. You have a standard that the world and Satan doesn't have. You know how sinful the, the, the seven years of the tribulation period is going to be? The church is gone, the Holy Spirit is gone, and Satan is complete rule? I guess you're going to get rid of the police force. There will be no laws. Whether is thy beloved turned aside? Where is he going? That we may seek him. With thee. Well, look at the, the the these and the thys. Let's get rid of them. Soon as the bride witnesses to the bridegroom's own personal loveliness, the daughters want to seek him. And how many were added in the book of Acts? You know why there's not a lot of people getting saved and witnessing and revivals? Because the church is as filthy as the world is, Revelation chapter 3. She's got pride. She ain't looking. Most Christians don't even know that Jesus Christ is coming back. <clears throat> My beloved, the bride speaks. Is gone down into his garden, chapter 5 and chapter 4, to the bed of spices, to feed among the gardens, John 15, 1, Luke 13, 7. He's looking for fruit. Christian, do you have fruit for the Lord? He came to a tree one time. It was just all showy leaves. There was no fruit for him to eat. And look at the law. It said beds, plural, spices, plural. The law said you can't, you, you can't have a garden with different plants in it. So you can have beds. And each bed you can have a different plant but one general garden can't have mix but beds you can so that means you can't just go out okay I have a garden I just gotta grow tomatoes no you can have a bed of tomatoes you can have a bed of cucumbers you can have a bed of you know lettuce for salad you can't just grow them in one big general area to feed in the gardens and to gather lilies and so then four, chapter 4 verse 12 and John 4 23 and 24 I believe now the bridegroom speaks and just because he's away doesn't mean that you know there's no communication there's no nothing going on between the bride and the, and the bridegroom. Listen, we pray to him and he answers our prayers. Thou art beautiful, O my love, to the church, as Tarza. Comely, proper, as Jerusalem. That's the place where God chose to place his name. Terrible as an army with Banner, second coming. 
riding behind the Lord Jesus Christ upon horses. Joel chapter 2. We're going to be an army one day. We are an army. <clears throat> Turn away thy eyes from me, for they have overcome me. Thy hair is as a flock of goats that appear from Gilead. Thy teeth are as a flock of sheep, we've already read the description, which go up from the washing, brushing your teeth, clean white teeth, whereof every one beareth twins. You know, each tooth looks like the tooth it's supposed to look like next to it. And there is not one bearing among them. There's no missing teeth. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not us today. There are missing teeth that we have buried who have just died. We are all not washed. <laughs> We're not clean. We're not white. Isaiah says, Oh, if our sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. First John 1 9, and if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sons, sins. Then we go right back out and sin again. We're washed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. One day we'll be completely washed. Never to be defiled again. As a piece of pomegranate are thy temples within thy locks. We read that in chapter 4. <clears throat> there are three score, which would be sixty queens, and four score, which would be eighty concubines and virgins without number. The Jewish, because it's not the bride. I don't understand. I don't know for Solomon if he's writing about all his wives. I don't know why he would be writing a love letter to one woman and mention all the other women. That's kind of not nice. You're the fairest and girl, here's the other women. But then again, in the bride, there are other people. We as a body is made up of many different people. Males and females. And we all have a particular part. Paul writes to the Corinthians in the body. You can't, the eyes can't say to the nose, we don't need you. And the heart can't say to the little toe, we don't need you. And you, you know, your, your pancreas can't tell your elbow, get out of here. <clears throat> and that least seen commonly of the body parts are, are great value. My dove, my undefiled, well, look at that. That's after we are, that's after the judgment seat of Christ. And after we become the army, after the seven years. One day we're going to be God's dove, the Lord Jesus Christ, undefiled. Now look at this. Man, allergy. Is but one. Unity among Amongst, of, in, the church. The rapture will seethe out the lost from the saved. Only those that are truly saved will be called out. I don't care where you went to church. I don't care if you knocked on door. I don't care. The rapture will only call and separate those that are true Christians. The judgment seat of Christ, which will be following, will remove all sin and all wickedness in our life that we have not put under the blood, that we weren't sincere about the blood, and we will be rewarded for what we have done for the Lord, and then we'll be one body, one unit. Unity. 
we'll all believe as one. We won't have differences. <clears throat> Listen, every Baptist church has got their own differences. Read the church bylaws. And I'm not saying they're wrong, and I'm not saying they're right. It all depends on the location they are in. We must have an inferior, inferior King James 1611 Bible. Okay, that sounds good. I do believe that. But do you have a King James 1611 Bible in Korea? This is English. And there are Bibles that missionaries use out there. It is not a complete King James text, but it's the best closest they've got. You've got to be careful. I mean, if you want to be pure King James Bible, then you need to sit down and start translating the King James Bible in all the languages of the world. And then there are other little differences. <clears throat> some pastors believe this. Some pastors don't believe it. We're, I mean, we, we've got rules and regulations outside of, of the Bible that are neither wrong or neither right. There are churches probably you cannot have a night service where they are, particular area, because it'd be kind of, it's a crime-fested area. Having it at night would be... You know, what are you going to do about that? So, one day we'll be all in unity. She is the only one of her mother. And I got notes, Matthew 25, 1, 2 Corinthians 11, 2, 1 Corinthians 12, 12. What do you, think, what do, you do with that mother? Doesn't the Bible, doesn't Paul speak as our mother being New Jerusalem? <clears throat> she is the choice one of her that bear her. We are chosen in Christ by the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm not going to get into, you know, we're not, you know, predestinated. But I'm elected by God because I said, God, I won't put my name on the ballot box. <laughs> okay. You're going to follow the rules and regulations? Yeah, by the blood of your son, the finished work of your son upon Calvary. Then my name is on the ballot box. God says, okay, I elect you. I choose you in Christ. I'm the choice one. By Christ. The daughters saw her and blessed her. And that's what um, Leah says with one of the boys there. I figured... And you get the you get the the meaning of the word of um. Okay, thank you. It says they shall call me happy, blessed. I'm trying to remember the boy's name that is born. I believe this Asher too. But the daughter shall rise up and call me blessed, and I shall be happy. Yea, the queens and the concubines they shall praise her. There's those queens and concubines again. Well, they're not the they're not the bride. They're not the one. They're an outside. Psalms forty five for that. I mean, I'm told now I have to study more about it. But Queen Victoria was a Christian who wanted the Lord Jesus Christ to come. Are you going to say that you know her as a queen? She's outside the bride of Christ by this? No. She's just as much as in the bride as I am. So the, the queens, the concubines, are other people who are not in the bride. Who is she? I mean, if you're in Christ, you're saved, you're born again, you are the bride, plain and simple. I'm not trying to say 
Christians are going to be outside. I, no, all Christians are in the bride. But there's another group of people here, the queens and the concubines. <clears throat> and since the bride is made of males too, these queens and these concubines could be other males. They could be the Jews. Trying not to dig a hole. Who is she that looketh forth as the morning? Second Advent. Fair as the moon. The Christian reflects the light of Jesus Christ. The, womb, the, the moon follows the cycle of a woman. 28 day cycle. Clear as the sun. And terrible as an army with banners. We're given an armor. We're supposed to be terrible. We're supposed to be a wonder to the world, and we are. I wonder if you're really a Christian the way you act. I went down into the garden of nuts to see the fruits of the valley. Now that verse I, I always get as California. That's California right there. Yeah, I mean, there's... America in the Bible, yes. I went down to the Garden of the Nuts and see the fruits of the valley. There it is, California. That's the only state of the Union that I see in the Bible. Anybody who builds their, their house in an in a earthquake area on the side of a cliff look, overlooking the ocean, you've got to be a nut in a fruitcake. Oh, that's where, that's where the Sodomites come from. To see whether the vine flourished and the pomegranate budded. Luke 13, 7, he's going down to the garden. He's looking to see if there is fruit. And when Christ comes at the rapture and calls us home, immediately I believe the judgment seat of Christ will be set and he wants gold, silver, and precious stones. It is expected yet, but God is giving you a free will. But it's expected. And if I went out to my garden, and all year long there was this one tomato plant that did not produce one tomato plant. That is going to be the first one that's going to go. If he hasn't gone before, the other ones have gone. Or even I was aware, my soul made me like the chariots of, of Mininadab. I've got a note here. I'm trying to find where it is. I guess Psalm 68, 17, 2 Kings 2, 11. Return. Return. O Shulamite, return, return, that we may look upon thee. What will ye see in the Shemulite? What will you see in the Shemulite? As it were the company of two armies. Okay, one army, the bride. The second army, I'm going to assume. I'll pull up a garbage can. Now I'll put a garbage bag in it. But was not Israel called an army when it came out of Egypt? So when the Lord Jesus Christ picks up the Jews and sells Petra, now that you can take and throw in the garbage can. You don't have to believe that. I believe the first army would be the bride. We've been talking about the bride and the army. I am not going to say that the bride is divided, and, and no, I'm not because we got where your unity. That I can safely say. We're not going to be like a church house. One sits on the left hand side of the church, and some sit on the right hand side of the church. We're not going to do that. We're in unity.
And go study a minute in that dab number 712. I got a reference there. Shulamanite. Go study. See, you got to do a little more studying yourself in your time to get the treasures that God may show you. But we're looking at the bride. She is complete in one. She's cleaned up. She's right. She's now an army. One woman is an army. She's likened to the moon, so what do we get? We get the Amazon women on the moon. Thank you very much. You stole it out of the Bible. Whatever the Romans or the Greeks, whoever believed that there were women on the moon, they were Amazons, they were warriors, stole it out of the Bible 114 years before, you know, anything to be. I wish you stopped stealing things out of my Bible. We were watching one of those 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 judge programs, and, and the judge gets up there, and, you know, uh, nothing new under the sun. It's like, why are you quoting from a God that you don't believe in? Why are you quoting in a book that you haven't read? How do you know that? Because when the bell gets it, I'll raise your right hand, and you don't have no more book. Amazon women on the moon, that comes from you from Song of Solomon chapter six. The bride that is clean. And you know what the moon's gonna look like when we come back. It's gonna be blood as, it's gonna be as blood. Seventh year of the tribulation period. Man as well.